Network Rail has announced work on Birmingham's revamped New Street Station will be completed by September next year. The project, which includes a new shopping centre and a flagship John Lewis store, is costing more than £600 million. The news comes as work on a huge atrium for the new complex is nearing completion. Our transport correspondent Peter Plisner has been to see it. No modern building, it seems, is complete without one, but the framework that makes up the New Street Station atrium is certainly impressive. It's a bit like Meccano, but on a much larger scale. It's a huge structure that's so far taken 18 months to build, and they've used nearly 700 tonnes of steel. Once they've got the roof on, they'll be demolishing the floor below me and the floor below that to bring daylight onto concourse level of the new station. And for contractors like Pete Cresswell, the task of putting on the roof comes with the benefit of some stunning views. Yeah, this is great. This is uh, why we do the job, really. Uh, we see things a lot of people don't see when they're sat down there. We, we get to see all the nice buildings from a different angle, especially Birmingham, London. Yeah, we've, we've done most of them, really. When it's all finished in September next year, the atrium will become the focal point of the new station and the Grand Central shopping centre above it. I think this is going to be the wow factor, hopefully, for the people of Birmingham. When we flood light down onto the concourse, the space that you can see here is the size of Wembley football pitch. So it'll be a very exciting time for Birmingham. And when we open up the retail as well, it really will be a very exciting venture for the people of Birmingham. And this time-lapse film shows something others are getting excited about. This is the construction of the new quarter of a million square feet John Lewis. It promises to be the company's largest store outside London, and it too will open in September 2015. In addition to John Lewis, other big names have signed up to Grand Central, including The White Company, Jules, Kath Kidson, Fat Face and Monsoon Accessorise. But does Birmingham need another big shopping centre? What we've got in Birmingham is some fantastic shops, but Grand Central is going to be that last piece in the jigsaw. At the moment, there's a lot of people who live in the West Midlands who are maybe not shopping in Birmingham. They're going further afield. This gives a real opportunity to bring that added extra into the city and make it the place where everyone wants to come shopping. And with just over a year to go, there's still a lot of work still to be done if the station and Grand Central are to arrive on time. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today at New Street Station. Well, staying with transport now and the Midlands' first rapid transit system using vehicles that look like trams but without tracks or cables could be running in Birmingham by 2016. The scheme cost £15 million and will be funded by Centro and Central Government. The route will run from the city centre through Broad Street and along the Hagley Road. The Brinsford Young 